Hello everyone. Last video we did um, importing the uh, character from Atmo to Unreal Engine 4 and we retarget uh, the animation from Unreal Engine 4 to this character. Uh, the next it's importing the uh, animation from Nexmo to Android Engine 4. Alright, I uh, select one of the animation. You could go to an animation and you select some, any animation you want. I already have some uh, being selected, or one actually being selected. And uh, I, I did uh, select this one and uh, but you see it's a uh, front flip and I did uh, add it to Q and I did select FBX without skin and you click download right? and then you have it over here you download it you go to open the folder, copy it and go to your folder I put in temporary folder which is here alright the next step is go open Maya alright and I gonna do click file import go to the file that I just uh, exported from Exmo front flip import the file alright All right. now uh, the next step we need to find how many frame for this animation over here the default value for Maya it's 200 uh, basically you're gonna go to the first frame here and just quickly and drag it and see how far this is gonna go so he's it's the animation stop over here over here not it's moving now moving this is the last frame so the last frame is 40 right now so we click uh, or we change the numbers here to be 40 so this is the maximum animation you have right all right now we are going to zoom in then we click upon We create a pawn over here. Make it four. Zero. Zero. One. Now, go to the hip area and then shift click before we do that it's very important your bone it say join one you had to change it to root it's very important otherwise the animation is not gonna work because the skeleton mesh we are created before has a root name otherwise it's not gonna work you just click the head area shift and click on the root bone and then press P as in Peter so this is the root bone right now you create it if we run the animation you're gonna find the root motion or the root bone is a stick on the ground which is good but we don't want it to be stick in the ground we want it to be moved with the character over here whatever character move it's move with the character so this is the trick 
Ouais. Ouais. Now, um, we finished this part. We are um, created the bond. Now, we are going to select. Right now, we had to click in the hip area and select the, the root. Go to Windows, Animation Editor, Graph Editor. Over here, you are going to click on Translate X, and Y, and Z. Control C to copy. If you click on the uh, up arrow, you're going to go to the root up arrow on the keyboard. The cursor, the cursor key. You have to stay on the root. Well, and then you click Control V to paste this animation. You done over here in this animation. You're gonna find the character is moving up. All right. Now we are gonna go click on the hip again. You're gonna find all these characters, all, all, all these messages up and down. Anyway, what we are concerned about X and Y and Z. You click X. All you need from X is just make all these dots straight line. This is for rotation. That's not so this head was not gonna be rotating while moving. Um, so it's the same the, to move around this uh, this diagram it's same way we use the viewport it's uh, alt and and the mouse button so right now we're gonna select all these dots except one over here behind the line the red line you click over there region tool scale and move you click over here, you just try to make it straight line. Zoom it. Just get a good shot. Alright, that's good. We did we then X. We done X. Y. We're gonna do Y now. It's the same thing. Select all of them. Except the one behind the That's fine. No, it's not. We had to select these two also. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, that's good. On Z. Do the same way. Let's let go. It's a little tricky.
Fine. That's that's fine. Oh, we could go. Yeah. That's fine. So um, when we were done this part, if we're gonna close, we close this editor. And right now, if we run the animation, you're gonna find the root motion is moving with the character. Then we're gonna go file. We're gonna be exploring all. Like we said, this is very important. Animation being clicked. Big animations clicked. We sample all and the FBX file format. And I will say this is with root. Explore all. We do this part right now. We're gonna go to Unreal Engine 4. In the Unreal Engine 4, we are going to click Import. We have prompt flip with the root. Click OK. Right now, this one we are gonna select the skeleton, but the skeleton we selected is the knight. Import all. You double click. Here you go. The character is moving. And if you click show, bone, hierarchy, you are going to see the root motion is moving with the character. Alright. This is good. This is number one. Alright. Um, You can close this one and just save all. Well, right now, that's fine. And if I like the any character, uh, like uh, under the engine character, I want this character have the same animation. This basically is going to select the animation of the this animation I right click you're targeting and I have right now the Unreal Engine 4 animation character change it I'm going to go to mannequin animation and accept three targets right now if you open it you will see unreal engine also character is working fine let me just uh, turn off the bone hierarchy so 